So those trees are the same as these trees. Notice some of them, like this one, even still have, you know, the foliage on them, and we got little ones like that. Let's run up in here. Uh, I'm looking for the perfect example. Here we go. You don't need perfection. You can see, I can't see crap because of the glare. See how it's burnt on the inside of this branch? Same thing on all of these branches. Burnt on the inside. Same thing here. And this is what I mean when these trees are tipped over and you can see them tipped over. This is why. Oftentimes it finds the center mass on the, on the base of the tree and blows it out right about here. Burns a giant hole and the tree flops over. I've shown you a bunch of these. It looks like someone's come along and cut these. Let's see if we can find a little better example. This one, um, not sure how it got uprooted, but you can see the plasma burn there. Ooh, uh. More plasma burn obviousness. See the unburned spot right in the middle of the highly burn? And the highly burn right next to the bark that still remains. And each and every one of these branches that you find around here, and I mean every single one, will have this. The black burnt inside, and if I scrape that burnt part off, it'll be unburnt wood, a millimeter deep. It's only surface deep, but every single, every single one of these branches on the ground will have that burn pattern. burnt out here. This one's actually still connected into the... Oh, no, it's not. So, that means under here, yep, we find the same exact burn pattern. That one has been cut. That one has been cut. This one broke off in the burning process. because the end of it's burnt right there, so it actually snaps it off the tree like that. Where are we at? Can't see nothing. So, some more good examples. But yeah, when you find every single branch has this burn pattern with the end of the branch where it broke away from the tree burnt. And then on the tree, you'll see the same thing, a little black circle on the tree where the branch once was that's burnt black like that. Let's go find one of those circles. Like this. That's where a branch broke away from, and it's much more burnt right here than around it. Sometimes you'll see it completely unburnt here and charcoal there. This one has a little bit of burning on the, on the bark, actually quite a bit of burning on the bark of these trees, but there was no foliage. There was no foliage that burned the outside of these trees. The reason they're blackened on the outside like this is from the burning that happened from the inside. Otherwise, that wouldn't still be there. If it was flames reaching up and licking this, that wouldn't still be there, along with all this. So, 
Maybe we'll hop back in here and just show you a little bit of the carnage. So this looks like the development that they're putting in right here. And lucky, look at this one. This one's got its butt up in the air over here. Uh, looks like they might have cut it. Oftentimes you'll see them just like this. Yep, they cut it. Oftentimes you'll see it like that with the blackened burn area. They cut that one too. They cut that one too. Likewise with those. Oh, here's one they didn't cut. You can tell they didn't cut this end at least. How about